Cheers. All right. Perfect. So let's move on to life plan. So I'm going to go through the slides first and then go to the demo and kind of explain what I do with life plan on my year end work with my clients. So to summarize life plan is we create a business plan from scratch. Um, then we can actually go back and do revisions from it. Uh, we can use existing, uh, just take this out here for a second because we made some corrections to the slide. We can uh, create forecasting and we have some sophisticated methods to create forecasting. We can use the QuickBooks information as a model, but it won't, it doesn't import the QuickBooks information, but we can use it as a model to build a forecast. We can um, compare company performance with peers. So we have benchmarking. So depending on the industry, so if you are retail or if you're construction, you would actually compare um, how you're doing and that could be a, a simple to use and simple to read dashboard. So this is basically um, what it looks like. And uh, we're gonna do, go ahead and do a demo for that. And there's basically uh, two major functions of it. So we have the business planning function and the forecasting function. Um, some of the lighter functions are the benchmarking, which I'll, I'll show you real quick, but the, the core of it is business planning and forecasting. And forecasting is specifically uh, the area that most clients actually ask for. This business plan, I would say not so much. Uh, clients do ask for business planning, but I, but I find it that, that forecasting is truly one of the um, one, one of the areas that people want, want help with. Um, and then lastly, we'll talk about the easy dashboards, which uh, just create a very easy visual way to analyze uh, the numbers of the company. Okay, so let me go through the demo here. And um, I have uh, two accounts here, so I'm gonna close one. Okay, there it is. So that's what life plan looks like. And um, this is a, a demo account that already has a whole bunch of data in it. So I wanna, I want to show you what it, what it looks like when it's basically uh, completed, and then I'll show you how to kind of put it together when you're building it from scratch. Okay, so um, this is a Garris bike shop, and basically um, we're on the on the pitch section. So in the pitch section is basically a summary of um, of all the company's uh, information. So the opportunity, like what problem we're solving, the solution, uh, the target market, and I'll just show you when we click in here. It basically guides you to the process and we can actually um, come in here and create you know what what our segments are and what our target markers are this is obviously designed for pitching an idea or for uh, pitching to investors or pitching to the bank if you're trying to get a, a bank loan or something like that so this is a place where you actually type up your target market and then type up your you know how many potential customers you can have on each segment and how much revenue you're going to get for, uh, from each one in, in terms of what the marketplace looks like or how much revenue people spend in this particular category and we're, we're a bike shop so so we, we, we this information is not provided for you you actually have to hunt this information down but this is a place where you actually gather and put this uh, together so th and you can actually put everything in here right so you're going to put um, your summary you're going to put uh, you know like the headline you're going to put uh, the competitive landscape. So you're gonna so it basically guides you through each section of the business plan. Um, so so you don't really have to type up a word file from scratch or build a a, a, a you know a business plan from a template. This is something that you can go back, edit, publish, republish, and at the very end, um, it can actually create the presentation. So actually, I thought this is actually extremely cool. Is you put together a business plan. Uh, it could take you, I mean, it will take you a good business plan. It could take you three or four hours sitting down with your client and going through everything. But if you were to do it from a template, this could be a couple of days worth of work. But, you know, you can actually build based on all the information that you put together. You can build. A, so basically, I hope in a different PowerPoint, this is the PowerPoint that you put together after you put a business plan. So, so this is sort of the summarized version of the business plan, all split into um uh, sort of spreadsheet format. And that's actually w one of the real nice things about this uh, pitch option. Now I'm gonna click here on plan and then I'm gonna go a little bit deeper into the this type of stuff that we do on a, on a business plan. So the, the pitch portion is a very summarized um, business plan. It, it, it's just there for you to build a presentation and basically for you to do something you know within five minutes or 10 minutes type of presentation. To have a complete uh, build business plan it actually walks you through uh, based on you know the, the, the common business plan um, 
uh, organization technique. So we start with company overview, and then we have who we are, and basically we click in here, and this is the part that you do. You're gonna come in here, and you're actually gonna type, right? So you're gonna type in who we are, right? Um, and you, you type that in there. And if you click on examples, it does give you some examples, right? So you can actually um, read the examples and say, okay, that's that's a pretty good idea. You can actually copy and paste that example or click on add this example to the plan. And then you can just basically, um, you know, re retype the, the, the right, the correct information, right? So the actual information that um, that's going to go there that pertains to your business. And you go through everything. You go through financial summary and um, in, in the financial summary, I'm going to click on edit to show you um, in the financial summary. We, we can, we can edit uh, this information, change the title. We can get uh, information about uh, revenues. We can get information about expenses, and um, and and, and uh, that's this is all pre-built into our forecasting module, which I'll I'll go I'll go there in a second, um, and then I'm going to click here on financial plan just to show you, and then we have revenue forecast. This is a, a really big area where we actually uh, this is part of the forecasting section where we actually tell it you know what we plan to sell next year and, and it compares it with what you sold last year and what you're selling currently that way you can just make sure that this this makes sense so i'm going to jump in and actually uh, build the forecast so you, you see how this process is is done so <clears throat> let's say that is it's november right it, it is november so let's say it's november 15th and we know what we sold last year we know what we sold this year and we want to sit down with our clients and do some planning for next year so we can actually and this is all sort of a chart of accounts that we get from QuickBooks. So we organize this the same way as the major categories within QuickBooks. And then we click on each category, right? And then we say, okay, so we know what we're going to sell or we forecast we're going to sell based on revenue. And we can click on revenue and then basically just, just put in a dollar value there by month. Okay, so that's one way we can do it. The other way is we can do it uh, based on unit sales. I'm going to show you. So we can actually say, well, you know, this is going to be about, right, about X, Y units per month. And you, you give it a value per unit. And, and that's how you're going to get, um, that's how you know or you're going to understand um, what that total revenue is going to look like. So there's basically just a couple of ways to build the revenue section. And then under direct cost, okay, so we, we're typically going to have um, if we have cost of goods sold, I'm just going to click on direct cost to show you. So I'm going to call this direct materials or something like that. And we can say, well, this is actually um, this is actually going to be a, a consistent amount or it's going to be a different amount over time. Or this is actually going to be tied to a revenue stream. So I can say, look, this is tied to maybe that revenue stream. And we can say this is usually about 10% of my revenue stream. So whatever I projected to be my, my clothing sales, I'm saying my direct materials are gonna be about 10%. And basically, once you have a, a, a good sound revenue stream projection, um, building your projections for expenses based on percentages, uh, especially for the direct cost or direct amounts, that becomes uh, sort of an easy thing. Okay, so let me go ahead and uh, delete this one because I don't want to mess with the template that I have here. And I'm going to go into, let me just uh, close that. I'm going to go into personnel. And then, so for personnel planning, this is also really interesting um, because not a lot of business planning tools uh, go in depth in terms of personnel planning. So when you go to personnel planning, you say, look, I, I'm going to have a group of employees that say, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about hiring three salespeople. And then I'm going to call it, uh, sales staff, and we'll call it out outside or something like that. And then I'll click on next. And then I can say, look, this is regular labor, uh, not direct, right? Because we're going to pay him anyway. And then we'll say, look, we're going to pay these people, let's say $3,000 a month. And then we tell it, you know, when, when they're going to start working or when we start projecting this. And, 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 and we can also project, okay, we're going to give them 5% raises every year. And then we're going to go ahead and click save and close. And one of the real cool things about it is you can actually do personal planning based on groups, and you can also have something called the burden rate. So I'm going to show you uh, burden rate. So burden rate is uh, for us to add workers' comp, insurance, uh, payroll taxes, pretty much all the benefits that have to do with, with employees. We just basically pick up a percentage amount, add it in there, and then this starts getting built into our into our um, into our forecasting. So um, under expenses, then we can also um, group these in a simple way. So one of the interesting things about 
um, doing budgets in QuickBooks is that you're going to go line by line. So that's, that becomes a little bit tedious. So you can actually uh, group them and simplify them here. Um, so we, let's just call this office expenses. And then I can I can just group um, you know multiple expense accounts from QuickBooks into this one office expenses and then we can say look this is going to be basically uh, five percent of revenues and then I do save and close and then that builds into it and that takes my revenue amount and multiplies it that way I don't have to um, you know sit there and and, and change that or, or project that to change so as long as our revenue projections are are sound our expense projections are going to go um, without it. And then on assumptions, a really interesting thing about it is if we actually change some of these things out, like if we're going to get paid earlier, right, or if we're going to purchase more in credit, and this will actually start changing projections about our cash position as well. So if we start saying, look, we're, we're going to get paid faster, we're going to get more credit from vendors, you can actually do some, some simple uh, cash flow projections, which are really interesting. And then I can also take a look at what the P&L is going to look like. This is basically my my uh, projected P&L based on the, on the forecast. And, and that's a really interesting uh, conversation you can have with your client about, uh, about you know, what they're going to do with the business moving forward and, and, and where they're going to uh, save in and that sort of thing. I do want to show you one area that I, that I you know, unfortunately, it's not inside life plan, but it's actually a pretty easy resource. It's called bizstats.com. Let me, let me put that in the, I'm going to put that on the chat window here. Um, so I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it here under the chat and it's called bizstats.com. So that way you can have it in your, in your bookmarks there. So I send it through the chat. So bizstats.org, basically what this website looks like, and there's sort of a lot of advertising around it. Um, you go to, um, here it says search for industry benchmark reports. And I really like this because we can actually take information about the industry and say, look, maybe we should project expenses based on what a lot of other companies of that um, of, of this category is doing. So let me go ahead and click on uh, corporations. And then I'm going to pick on, I'm going to pick the same industry that my client is in. So I'm going to go to retail trade, and then I'm going to click on sporting goods. Okay. This is a bike shop. And then I'll click on that. So what I'm seeing here under BizStats, what I'm seeing is that according to, and this is usually tax return information. So it says, according to this, uh, rent should be 7.46% of your sales. Okay. So this is, this is just statistics, right? This is just averages. When I go back into life plan and I'm going to uh, project uh, on my rent, right? So instead of using a, uh, a, f a specific amount like 5,400 a year, I can actually say, look, this is this should be 7.46% of my revenue. So I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, save and close. And that's actually going to change uh, what the forecast looks like. Now, rent may not be a great example uh, because rent is not something that we can just choose the amount, right? So rent is based on, on contracts and stuff like that, but it's just an example, right? So if, if I had a target, like for example, advertising right now is, is 30,000. If I wanted to be somewhere around industry average, so here it says it's 0.79%. So if I come in here and use the same, uh, let's, I'm gonna round it up to 1% and, and then hit uh, save and close, um, then it's gonna change, let's call it my budget, uh, based on that. So now it says that for advertising, I, I will have sort of a different uh, amount. So let me go here to expenses and then click on advertising and see now advertising is now uh, $6,000 instead of you know $30,000 or whatever it was before. So it's just kind of a, an, an interesting uh, piece of building a forecast or a budget is to take external data like this stuff from BizStats and have a discussion with your client. And you don't have to build a plan with this. You can just simply compare your past performance with this. And, and you can have some pretty interesting conversations about why your client spends more than the average or less than the average.